Hey guys, it's the uh, VW Nut Garage. Um, we're about to uh, do some fitting on the passenger side floor of that bug, so we need to turn it around. Uh, but before we turn it around, I need to tidy up some parts of the shop. Uh, the shop's nice and toasty today. It's about 30 outside, so that's not too horrible uh, for this time of year where we live. Um, shop's probably in the 50s. Uh, so I'll get to cleaning up and uh, I'll turn you guys back on when I'm about to uh, spin her around. Um, Patina's here. I promise you if it was less than 50 in here she would not be out here. So bring you guys right back. Go ahead and cue the music and the high speed pushing. Patina you just do whatever it is that you do. Alright, well we got her spun around. Uh, Patina was a huge help. I need to move the heater back away from the toolbox a little bit because it's hot. Which means that Patina also is going to want to move, right? One time. Alright, well, still together. It still looks like a bubble. It's still on jack stands. Um, we'll drag the piece of floor over and uh, take a look under it. I'll get some lights and we'll go from there. So once again, um, I'm over here sweeping stuff up and, and I hear a chewing noise and I just figure it's patina on her toys, but no. Um, I don't think this is anything too important, um, but plastic and pit bulls, at least this pit bull, um, and plastic, yeah. You're not supposed to have that. You're not, it's not for you. Have that. Have that. That's for you. Patina, get your ball. Get it. I didn't get it. Get it. Nice. Get over there by the heat. That's. Alright, so here's where we're at. This is the, um, this is the, uh, the heater channel and the pan half here. Um, I think there's still just a little bit, just a little bit on the front corner of the car right here that still needs to be trimmed up. And I need to punch some holes along that edge. Uh, but I want to make sure that it fits in there first with the heater channel. Um, so I'm going to get, I'll get you guys set up somewhere where you can watch and I'm going to get under there and finagle it around and uh, see how it fits in there. All right, you guys are looking up in there. Um, I'm going to Now that I got that kind of set up in there, um, that's not too horrible. Uh, I need to do a little work. I'll show you guys. Alright, so this is the front corner. 
and uh, as you can see I need to do a little bit of work to um, to fit that in there I need to come down a little bit down here I'm gonna climb in from the other side and kind of give her a push down on there and uh, we'll see if we can't get her to fit a little bit closer and we'll try and fit that heater channel in here too um, but all in all not too bad all right watch your ears Alright, so the hold up was just a little bit of gunk uh, in there, so I just took my uh, little, sorry, my little scraper tool right there and uh, scraped her up. Uh, so we'll try and fit that now one more time and uh, then we'll see about getting that heater channel in there. Still got a ton of, ton of metal work to do. in here poor car is going to take a little bit to get her back to life we'll, we'll bring her back one video at a time right all right so the fitment of the floors much better now um all the way down both ways still a little bit uh, right up here in the front uh, we're gonna get that uh heater channel up in there and uh see how it likes fitting Do you have something to say? What do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say? Alright, so um, after much finesse and deliberation let me get down here on the ground with you guys and out of the chair. Um, going from this spot right here at the front of the car, that's where the heater channel should be. Of course, it needs to be, you know, up in there. But looking at where the bolt holes line up for where the pan is, I need to take about, about a quarter of an inch off the back of the pan or, yeah. I need to take a quarter inch off of the pan. So I'm going to take apart this puzzle that took me uh, a couple of hours to put together. One more time or two more times or however many more times it takes before I get it right. And uh, we'll get her fit back up in there. Um, so I'll find a spot for you while I take this puzzle apart and you guys can watch. Alright, I hope you guys are looking at something. Alright, so uh, I'm going to take about a quarter of an inch off of the edge of this here pan. Safety glasses. so that should give us the room we need um, worked out pretty good I'm gonna put her all back up in there again uh, another time and I'll bring you guys back and we'll see if uh, 
the little bit we took off the back makes a difference. All right, so uh, let's, hopefully you guys can see that we got some bolts into the uh, into the pan and heater channel. So that's pretty close to being lined up. That's a uh, big win for us. Let's see if I can get you guys somewhere. Um, because this will help keep everything lined up while we do the final fitment of the pan. It looks like that quarter inch that we took off the back uh, was exactly what we needed. And we're just gonna snug these down a little bit so that uh, the placement of the pan and the heater channel stay in place. All right, so we just need to clearance a few more things in the front and the back, but the fitment underneath um, is real nice. Um, looks like it's gonna fit in there. We're gonna need to punch some holes in the floor pan on the inside uh, in order to spot weld it uh, into place. So we'll be taking that apart at least one or two more times. Uh, prep the area to be spot welded. Prep the area of the pan to be welded into place. And um, I'm very happy that we ended up getting some bolts in here so everything stays lined up. Um, the floor looks good on the inside. I'd show you guys but it's really dark in there. Um, Alright, well, that's going to do it for this one. I'd like to thank everybody for coming by the VW Nut Garage. Um, we're going to move on after this. We're going to start welding that floor back in. Uh, carpet kit, headliner, interior, uh, some suspension stuff. Um, and that's where we're headed. So, thanks again for coming by and we'll see you soon.